Hey YouTube, how's it going? Uh, this is my top 10 list for city apps. Number 10 is Make It Mine. Basically, what, what it lets you do is change the carrier on your uh, iDevice. So here, uh, instead of like, instead of having T-Mobile, we can change the carrier. What you do is you open up the app and you press carrier. You type in your new, the new name you want to uh, use, and then just press carrier. You can also change the banner. Uh, pretty much, you do the same thing. So here, I'm typing subscribe. And then you press banner, and there you go. It change it. You have your own custom carrier and banner. Okay, uh, so number nine is iProtect. It's actually like a second line of defense. It um, it asks for a password. You want to if if you want to access an app. So you know if you want to, if you want to keep your mail private, like your mail app private or like your text private, you set up uh, this app, and then it'll ask for a password. That way, if you leave your iPod unlocked, no one can access it. It's a pretty cool app to um, keep away, you know, like nosy people or whatever. Number eight is GPS phone. Basically, you can download a whole bunch of uh, games, like games from like a Game Boy Advance, Game Boy Color. Uh, like here, I'm playing. I'm gonna show you that I have a Pokemon. You can play that, and like, and you actually don't need any Wi-Fi or anything like that. There's a whole bunch of different skins you can use, so you don't have to have, you can use a S Game Boy SP spin, skin or whatever you want to use. There's a couple of customized options. So let me go ahead and show you that this works. Here, type your name. Okay. H A R S. Alright, just say Alright, and as you can see, I'm playing Pokemon on my iPod. Yeah, it's a pretty cool app. You guys want to you guys want to check it out it's lots of fun like I said if you have an iPod you don't need Wi-Fi or anything like that it's pretty loaded number seven is SB settings it's a really convenient way you can turn off like your Wi-Fi or your or change your brightness at turn off SSH or whatever you don't have to go into settings um, through here you can also uh, add a battery percentage as you can see I have a percentage sign next to my battery uh, let me go ahead and wait for this to load Okay, so you just go into system options. One second. And right there, there's the system options. And then you can add a numeric battery or a numeric Wi Fi, whatever you want to do. It's a pretty pretty cool app. Really convenient way of getting in your settings. Okay, so number six, I have Circuitous. It's a kind of a, it's an app switcher. It allows you to move from app to app and leave them in the background. So if you want to multitask. I actually find it to be a lot better than the native multitasking in iOS 4. It's pretty smooth and really easy to use. And you can set it up to be uh, enabled in different ways if you have Activator on. Number 5 is Dtunes. Uh, it's a really cool way of downloading free music. You can also get uh, videos. Let me go ahead and show you how that works. You just go into search. Uh, here we'll just choose a gold Kanye West a top song that's being downloaded. And... Um, Scroll down. Usually there's a capture. I've already done it today, so the capture isn't showing. So you just click download. Um, and yeah, I'm not gonna wait for that download. I'll just show you how you play your music. You go, you go back to the browse tab, and then you choose your song. So your Kanye West stronger. And yeah, you can play your song that way. I actually muted the sound out because I'm doing commentary on it, so you can't hear the song. But that's how it works. Pretty cool app. Number four is YourTube. Uh, I really like this app. You can what you can do is um take the YouTube videos and download them directly into your YouTube app. And uh, like for example, let's see T A the Haz. Download one of our videos, the jailbreak video we did. So yeah, and all you do is press the little download bar at the top. You can choose high quality, low quality, whatever you want. It's really simple. It's uh, I know a lot of you use, use MX2, but this one is really cool because it integrates in your app. So as you can see, usually downloads take about a minute. So let me go ahead and show you how this works. Uh, actually, let me turn off the Wi-Fi. I'll show you that you can do this. You can still listen to your songs without Wi-Fi, or your uh, you can watch your videos without Wi-Fi. It's a really cool feature. You know, if you have an iPod Touch and you're on the on the road or something like that where you don't have Wi-Fi. Yeah, let's let's watch the video. Yeah, as you can see, the video's playing. Everything it's already loaded, so you don't have to wait for the 
things are loaded. Let me go ahead and skip to another scene. You can see it's still working. It's a, it's a definite must. There is a cracked version. You can, you can pay for it or you can get the cracked version on Cydia. Number three is Backgrounder. This is one of the most popular apps you can get. Uh, basically, it lets you um, enable backgrounding for your uh, app. So you can, like, for example, um, let me play uh, Death Worm, play a game on here. And yeah, like, okay, so I'm playing Death Worm, playing Death Worm. And let's say I want to exit this and do something else. I just hold the hold the home button and it says backgrounding enabled. Go in Safari and um, let's wait for Safari to load. And let's say I just Googled something. Let's say I Googled Yahoo. Or I was looking some looking for cheats or something like that for a game. Google Yahoo. Uh, okay, and I want to go back to Death Worm. I just open up the app and it's still running. I don't have to wait for it to restart or whatever. Or worry about losing my progress. It's, as you can see, Death Worm is still running. So yeah, it's a definite must if you're gonna jailbreak. Number two is Waterboard. This is a really cool app. You can you can actually put custom themes and backgrounds on here from Cydia. So let me go ahead and show you how that works. So I'll enable Choco Milk and then you just go back and you click Respring and then you wait for your iDevice to Respring and yeah and let me go ahead and show you guys the, the custom theme it's, a re it's really cool you can also make your own themes okay and uh, number one has to be Installus it's pretty much one of the major reasons for jailbreaking your iPod it allows you to get free apps that are available in the App Store so let me show you let's give you an, for example we're gonna try cut the rope so you search for it it might not come up on the first page you might have to look around for it a little bit and all you do is press download and it's gonna give you an option of uh... it's gonna give you a couple options to download from the most common is probably gonna be file dude so you just click on that link and then um... it's gonna ask you if you want premium or normal just click normal that way you don't get charged for it and you wait for that page to load and then next is going to be a, they're going to ask you to type in a captcha. Sometimes this works, sometimes it doesn't. You have to try it a couple of times. Uh, make sure the page loads all the way. Like I didn't wait right there, so it wouldn't let me type in. And then you just type it in. And then you click download. And then it'll take you to this link. Just click download again. This won't work for me since I've already downloaded uh, Cut the Rope. So it'll probably give me an error message. Yeah, right there. A download failed, but it will work for you guys. It takes about, depending on the app, it takes about two to three minutes. Sometimes maybe longer. And then you just click on the down. You go on the download list in the download tab, and you click uh, cut the rope, and then you just click install, and that's pretty much it. And you know, so, so that's my uh, top ten list. Uh, let me know if I missed anything, you guys, and please rate, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.